hi guys in today's video we're gonna talk about this PID C100 temperature controller so so in this box we get the temperature controller this is how it looks like we get the SSR this is the relay solid state relay and we get this thermal coupler and also we get this user manual to help you how to set it up so the first thing I need to do is wiring this controller as you can see here one two that's the power cable six seven is the alarm which I've got on this device I don't know why four and five is the solid state relay which is this one start with the, the thermal coupler which is 9 and 10 So as it says here, 4 and 5, they need to go to be plugged on the SSR on number 3 and 4. 3 and 4. So, like this. So four goes to three plus and three goes to four on the relay. And now the neutral the neutral from my fan from the fan it goes to the neutral from the power. comes from the neutral from the power and uh, the live he goes to number two on the relay like this so what we've got left now is Uh, one comes from the one wire comes from uh, the live the mains and it goes to number one on the relay
So that's it. As you can see, our installation, our wiring is done. Next step is obviously after finishing the wiring process, I can show you now how to set it up. Uh, we've got two glasses of water, one is cold and one is warm. So if you can see here, the top one with the red, the PV one, it shows you the actual room temperature. The bottom one with the green, the one you set, set you're gonna set it up, you know, so you can... In today's application, obviously, I'm gonna use this controller, pretending that I'm gonna use it for the eggs hatching process. So, for hatching eggs, we need the room to be in a certain temperature. So let's say for example 30 degrees. All I need to do is like updating or altering this bottom temperature figure here to 30. Because the, the red one here, the, the top one is for the actual room temperature we're in. To do that, you know, I need to press set once here and with this right button arrow I need to go up till I reach 30 and to press set so it's so the setup is done. So what I need to do now is just to try the system now if it's work. So as you can see here our fan is working now. This fan, I plug it, you know, just in uh, instead of the the heater because I don't have a heater here. So I put instead I put this fan instead. So it's working now. That means the room the temp the room temperature is lower. When it reaches 30 degree, the fan will stop working. The way I'm gonna try it is putting this thermal couple in a hot or warm water like this like this so you see the, the temperature the room temperature is increasing now after that the fan will stop that means we reach in the, the right room temperature for our process see now the fan is stopped now As when see, when the is 33 if I put in cold water temperature decrease 25 24 fan starts working now because the temperature is below 30 so the fan the heater is working so basically so as you can see here the room temperature is 22 and we still didn't reach you know the 30 that we're looking for but now if I put the thermal couple in the hot water the warm water you see the temperature is rising now there's an exit delay I'm going to repeat it again see it's working now because the temperature is below 30 that's what we're looking for so I'm going to put it again in a warm water as you can see the temperature is rising now and there's a stop delay it can take to 10 seconds or something like that but eventually it's gonna the fan gonna stop there we go fan is stopped so just this is just the basic about this controller it's really good 
thing to use if you doing like a egg hashing project so the essential thing about this controller when it gets to certain temperature it shut up or on <laughs> 